So what if I told you the job you're training today or you're working on today might not really exist in next like two years, right? In this video, I'm going to really tell you a brutally honest roadmap on AI in the changing market. So in the next few minutes, you will discover which jobs are most at risk of AI, how AI is quietly replacing even the experts of AI themselves. What skills do you really need to be able to uh, protect your career and your job and how AI really can turn into competitive advantage with jobs are not at right. So if you are a student, developer, manager, creator, stay till the end. I'm Sanil Narkani, your host. So today we are going to straight to the topic. Will AI kill your job or make you unstoppable? Because by the time you're going to finish this video, you won't fear AI, but you'll know exactly how to use it to really go ahead. So let me start with the story, right? So two years ago, Ramesh, he was a software engineer writing a code. He was in a startup making good money. I think he, he had got an experience of, let's say, three to four years, hardworking, skilled and quite stable. He had taken a loan for his house, for an EMI, a fancy car. And then came AI, like co-pilot, ChatGPT, and all changed. The company that helped him, you know, to develop his career, now his job is at risk. Because within six months, he saw his team shrunk from 10 to 4. And eventually next year, maybe one or two. Because today, one agent, AI agent, is writing almost 95% of the code. And that's real, guys. TCS has already said the story. That means others will also come. They need to manage their PNL, right? And it's not just tech writers, paralegal, designers and analysts and accountants. All of these jobs are going to get impacted. AI is able to do things much more faster, leaner, better. Of course, there are other geopolitical situations as well that is causing the anyways, the market to shrink. On top of it, you have a double whammy, right? Which is AI. So the people who would learn to use AI they will move up the chain a little faster. Doesn't mean that they will not get replaced in case if they don't know uh, how to really learn AI and continuously learn and evolve. But the ones who really ignores it will be at the chopping block. Now, the CEOs of a large company would say, hey, we will hire more AI roles. But right now, AI is only showing its power, the mighty power of creating efficiency and not really employment. While all I believe is, you know, uh, AI would create certain employments in pockets, you know, but I believe it's a long way to go. So today, people who understand AI replaces who don't know. Today is an era, right? I think it will run for a couple of years, I believe, right? But tomorrow, AI will eventually replace them. So we now have AI models that can design, train and improve other models. In future, it will be more and more efficient will replace people who know AI. But I think the ones, the jobs that will not be really impacted are the ones who are doing, doing really a physical job. And if you see the Microsoft latest report on the 40 jobs that might get impacted, of course, the number one were software engineers, content writers, script writers, copywriters, all of them, but the doctors and the nurses and the carpenters and and the, and the labor force workers, they are not going to get impacted because you have so many mechanical ecosystem you have uh, hardware that needs to be managed you need garbage somebody needs to pick up you have factories where you need workers of course those robots and cobots will come but but they are very expensive to produce now right in india especially while the labor force is much much cheaper right and there's a government duty to give them a job as well so this isn't a science fiction anymore right so now if you look at generic jobs like the ones that will impact first, one of them after coding is BPO, right? AI voice agent don't sleep. They don't slip, they don't strike. So Philippine is one amongst the top in voice, in the BPO voice business. And then comes India, right? With technology like WAPI and lot of voice agent, I'm sure Cisco's and Palo Alto's of the world and Nice of the world will be creating a lot of voice agents. And they're already deployable. Conversational AI is very easy. Today, you are getting a phone call and you have to wait for 10 minutes or maybe five minutes. That's because a human is not available. But tomorrow, 
with voice agent, you will really have a human mimicking voice. One voice agent can call hundreds of customers in a day and that's 24 by 7. The software architect, a guy who has done coding for last 20 years or 15 years and still has his hands on coding. See, a lot of the coders went into managerial role and they were managing people and they lost the battle because they lost the touch of code and, and they are not able to interpret the code faster. So you, while the AI would do all the coding for you, somebody needs to validate whether the APIs are right, whether the functions and the class and the codes are written properly. So those are the guys will still who will have a job. Learn about your business better. Have a deeper, meaningful understanding of your processes and business because business would not change, right? Just yesterday, I was talking to my friend. You see, an interior, if you want to make an interior of your house, it's such a fragmented market, right? There is no big player here. There is no standardization. You need to go to 20, 30 places to buy products. It takes about six to eight months and lakhs of money. You do not have any understanding of quality, right? These are the sweet spots. There is a huge business opportunity here. It's all about knowing that business of interior designing in detail, understanding what are the small nuances, what are the customer pain point and curating that and bringing that on the table. So those are the understanding, detailed understanding of the business that is very important, coupled up with knowing different tools. So let's say if you know Gamma for PPT, if you know how to create in video for content creation, you should know a little bit of coding through Cursor. You should know how to create videos through Sora. So I hope this video opened your eyes. Share it with somebody, someone still waiting for how AI works and what jobs could be impacted with AI. Until then, stay sharp, stay curious, stay human.